finally back with another episode of Morrow's Moments. We've had a really busy summer. Haven't had much time to produce anything. Dirk, Mike, and myself, we plan on spending all fall trying to get different elements of podcasts that give you more information as to how we produce the images we produce. So we came up to Rocky Mountain National Park for our first trip up here this season. We don't know much. The elk change year to year, so we're not sure what's going to happen. What we're going to cover today is a little bit about research. What you got to do to get those favorite shots. I think those elk are a little too far out there. We should wait till they come closer to the stream. Mm -hmm. So earlier I said we haven't got any podcast done. Right. Because we've been really busy this summer. I just got back from three weeks in Alaska, but you got to do what? 60 days 60 in Africa. 55 days of shooting. Out of the stills, what did you shoot? 4,000 pictures Something about? Something like that, yeah. I haven't ever counted them. And that wasn't your main job. Your main job oh, was yeah. shooting video. So out of 4,000 pictures, and I want to put them up on the screen, what's the coolest? The coolest probably stills that I've got speak more to like culture and people. So you get time where you know your b-roll can be a wide shot and then I've got time to pick up like a 70 to 200 and just take some quick snapshots of kids or or uh, local culture you know. When we started this little podcast we're talking a little bit about you see all these pictures on magazines you see all these beautiful pictures hanging on walls most people don't just run up and you know, okay I see this elk here I better get a shot of it. It takes a little bit of research and it takes a little time to figure out what you're going to shoot, where you're going to shoot, what kind of animals do you have in the area. I mean, is this reliable? You know, we know we have a bunch of elk out here in the right. field. You've been coming here for, this is 16 years now? Oh man, a long time, so, yeah, since I started doing this. Location scouting here for you, I mean, you know most of these parks, especially around Estes and Rocky Mountain National, like the back of your hand, which is really cool. I mean, for someone like me and Mike to get a tag along with you, you're taking us to all the prime spots and not just prime spots for animals but areas that you know the layout you know where the sun's going you know generally okay most of the elk are going to start out in the meadow and then you know they migrate back up into the trees during the later part of the day that's huge i mean you have to know that stuff to be effective with your time and your talent well and it's important on on many levels because if you know the animals you know the area weather's constantly changing too and these these elk and and anything out there any kind of wildlife or any kind of nature scene is going to change with weather so what might be good here in the sun over there is better when it's cloudy or rainy so location scouting i think for for people just the reason we're doing this podcast is it's really important to get out there and spend some time don't always i mean i never go anywhere without without my cameras I always have a camera if you're going to go on a hike why not you know who knows you might get that once in a lifetime shot right. but i think it's really important to Spend some time, figure out the area, figure out the animals, and then if if you if you've got the time to do it, you're gonna get one of those really stellar images eventually. It just takes a little bit of scouting, knowing where to go. I think the more time you spend out, the better images you're gonna get. Those bulls are way out there. In fact, you might not even be able to see them on the video, but they're really <laughs> wanting to get in with the rut. But again, it goes back to we know there's a bunch of bulls in here we've done our research yeah spend a little bit of time it's just going to get better and better hopefully we'll get a couple of stormy days and then that'll change the dynamics they're already doing something different than what i've seen in years past usually they get out here in the field they do what they're doing only it's all cows and a bull here and a bull there or whatever they're active active in the morning then they move their way back up in the trees right but this is already something different. So again, research is really, really important. And it goes for the video too, doesn't it? It's the same, yeah. It's the exact same. I mean, you have to know your, your area, your location. I think the key things between the two of them, like for today, the tip would be know your location, know your target species, and then try to set up for that accordingly due to weather, weather conditions. Well, I'll tell you what, let's, let's hike out and go slow. I mean, I have seen bulls this time of day just kind of playing in the water, which might be kind of cool. Yeah. But if not, we'll head back and uh, get back to the studio and do Good a process. little bit of editing and hopefully get this podcast out so people are happy with, right. you know. Give them some more content. Exactly. It's been a few months.